Okay. Okay. Well, today I'm going to be doing your bubble each assessment. Have you ever had one done before? I have not. You haven't. Okay, good. I'm excited to do yours first. Ooh. Okay, to start off, I'm going to take your vital signs. And before I take the vital signs, I'm going to wash my hands. And I'm also going to don gloves. I'm going to start off by taking your temperature. Next, I'm going to listen to her breath sound. You can just take normal breaths for me. Here and on labored. Next, I'm going to listen to your heartbeat. There's um, no signs of murmurs or abnormal. Uh, next, I'm going to listen to your apical pulse for one minute. Normal rhythm, no murmurs. Next, I'm going to take her blood pressure. After the blood pressure, I'm just going to watch her respirations and make sure they're normal. Okay, to start off my double H assessment, the first thing I'm going to do is examine your breasts. Are you having anything in your tenderness in your breast area? Not that I know of. Not that you know of. Okay, have you started breastfeeding yet? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is lift up this, your gown real quick. And I'm just going to palpate using one hand around your nipple area. You tell me if there's any pain while I'm doing this. No pain. No pain? No pain? No pain. Okay. So what I'm assessing for is her breast area is soft. I am examining her nipples. Her nipples are intact. I see no cracking, no redness, no discharge or swelling. So your breasts look great today. Okay. I will take off my gloves to move on. is going to be your uterus. So I'm just going to be palpating for your fundus, which is the top portion of your uterus, okay? You let me know if you have any pain. Okay. So I found your fundus. Um, it is two finger breaths below your umbilicus. Um, it is firm. It's midline, which is all accurate, like all correct thing. No pain at all? Nope. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to assess your bowel sound. When's the last time you had a bowel movement? Um, yesterday. Yesterday, okay. All four quads. Active. And all quads. Okay. Next, I'm just going to um, palpate above your pubis symphysis. Um, when's the last time you urinated? An hour ago. About an hour ago. Did you change your pad when you urinated? Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to palpate. You let me know if there's any pain or tenderness, okay? Okay. Also, a good education teaching point here is um, if you can, um, try to go to the bathroom once every two hours. and. Um, you're going to do this because if your bladder gets overly full, it's actually going to push your fundus up and um, to the right. And if it does this, then it will cause you to bleed more, which is something I'm sure you don't want. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, so if you can, just try to urinate every once every two hours. I'll try to do that. Awesome. Okay, next I'm going to examine your pads. Look at your lochia. First, I'm going to don gloves. I'm just going to lift up your pad. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So right now I'm just examining the lochia. Um, it is red. There are no clots. Um, it's about four inches long, about two inches thick, um, straight line. Um, it's just a light bleeding, which is completely normal. Are you aware of the one hour rule? No. Okay, well, this is another great education piece. Um, 
The one hour rule is if after you change your pad and you pat it on for an hour and you look at it and it's completely soaked, we need you to call the physician or verify us and let us be aware of it, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Next, I'm going to leave your episiotomy. So I'm going to have you turn it over for me, okay? Okay. Okay. Just going to be looking at it. Um, did you have any hemorrhoids while you were in your pregnancy? No. No hemorrhoids? Okay. Well, your episiotomy is, um, there's no swelling, there's no redness or ecchymosis. Um, there seems to be no hemorrhoids. It is intact. So it looks great. Good. And you're having no pain in the area, correct? No pain. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to put your gown over you. Okay, and I'm going to take off my gloves, do my further assessment. Okay. Next, I'm going to be um, examining your leg. First, I'm just going to palpate around and feel if there's any tenderness. Um, I'm going to be feeling for warmth, I'm looking for swelling. Um, are you having any pain in your legs? No pain. No pain? Okay. Next, I'm going to be doing the home and sign. So what I need you to do is bend your leg up for me, and I'm going to hold it, and I need you to be completely relaxed, okay? I'm going to do a dorsiflex motion up. Does that have any pain? Nope. No? Okay. Any pain there? Nope. No? Okay. Now we'll do this on both legs. Again. Knee up and relax for me. Okay. Source of flexion motion up. Any pain? No pain. Okay. Any no pain No pain. Awesome. Okay. Next, I'm just going to examine your ankles and your feet. So I'm going to take your socks off. Okay. Any tenderness or pain? No. No? Okay. Right now I'm just looking for edema, swelling, redness, um, doing cap refill, I'm feeling my pulses, uh, just making sure everything's intact. I'm going to put your socks back on for you. Your bubble age assessment is complete. How was your first one? Not too bad. Not too bad. Do you have any questions for me? Ah, uh, you know, I don't. Okay. Any questions about the teaching I taught you about urinating um, once every two hours or um, letting us know if your pad soaks within one hour? No, I think I got it. Think you got it? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, you have a great day. It was very nice to meet you. Thank you. Also, I'm going to examine my patient's emotion. So during our assessment, she was very cooperative. She was very easygoing, open to me assessing her. So great assessment. Thank you.